everybody. How is everyone doing? Let me adjust this a little closer. So I have a different guest here. Hey, XA, you want to say hi? <laughs> Normally we have Clementine with us, but this time it's Ixie. And Ixie's decided that uh, she's going to sit right here and be my little my little right-hand cat cat for this. Um, so yeah, again, welcome to another ASIN Review Live. Uh, we do this every Wednesday here. My name is Joseph. I'm a brand director here at my Amazon guy. Don't know why I almost forgot that word. Um, but yeah, come come post your ASINs in the in the chat here in the in the comment section. We'll we'll pull it up on screen and go over it with everybody. But um, before that, let's you know. Black Friday, Cyber Monday is coming up and seeing some articles online that Amazon's hinting at an earlier start date. But I know right now it's still on the back end. We're looking at the 20th through the 24th for the Black Friday um, event and then 25th, 26th, 27th for Cyber Monday. So I'm kind of curious how how everyone feels about that, especially like with it being at least a week. And then not only that, if you go into Prime Exclusive Discounts, there's you can do either just Black Friday, or you can do just Cyber Monday, or you can set up both. Um, let's see if I can pull that up real quick and look over it. I've got, I've got Age of Sage here. I'm gonna, I'm just curious if in the past hour, because I looked at it, if they did change it again, or if they did change it yet. Because again, we, we're I'm seeing a lot of articles online hinting at it being a different starting date, or Amazon's thinking about it. Amazon's hinting at it, but I don't know. Still, still 20th through the 24th. Still 20th through the 24th. Here, we'll share. So, still, still 20th through the 24th. Um, and then Cyber Monday is still loose. Let me uncheck that. 25th through 27th. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see something. Um, and you can do both. I, I love how it gives you a warning. Like, if you select both, it's going to run through both. Like, I would, I would hope so. But um, I love it. I love being being extra cautious here. Another thing, though, uh, I'm also curious about is if anyone's looked at their... We talked about this last week. Their customer loyalty analytics. And if anyone's gotten any, like, ideas out of it or any... Um, pull this up just so we have some numbers any um any ideas any suggestions any and i wonder if this is like helping anyone kind of judge where they're at um i'm curious on how people are using this segment view right because you can look at like this especially this right so on like what they recommend or what they predict the changes are going to be for our uh um top tier customers and stuff across different accounts. I'm just curious how um how everyone's using this and how everyone's um taking this into consideration. I love playing with this though. And just seeing the different numbers pop up. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious if anyone's using it and kind of what if they're using this to help them with running promos and stuff. I know we usually talk about you know ASIN review, right? But Hey, promo is a way to increase your click through rate, increase increasing conversion rates. I'm just I'm just curious here. All right, let's go back. Sweet shirt, how much, John? For you, I'm sure it'll be free. How many? How many do you need? I have about seven now. Also, the I need to. I should have worn the hoodie, but it's it's just too hot in here. It's too hot in here for me to wear the hoodie. But let's pull up. I'm also curious on, I want you know what, I said that we talked about it. Um, hey, thanks for live, could you review the ASIN? I will. Um, I'm curious on hibernating customers, on how people are looking into that info. I know we just shared it and I, I closed it out, I need to open it back up. But um, I'm just curious on how everyone's like using this information. So if anyone has any ideas, leave it in the comments. Tell me how you feel about it. Hibernating customers, we don't get any metrics here for for Steven's account, but I'm just kind of curious on how everyone's looking into this and how they're using it to, um, to work on their, to work on their products. All right. Listen, John. <laughs> Share the comments on this. Maybe I didn't want to show your comment to the world, John. Maybe I didn't want people to see your name. 
they'll miss you. They, they'll want you back. They'll want you to, to take it back over. So, okay. Thanks a lot. Could you view the ace in B0, C, A, S? I'm not going to remember all that one. I'm already B0, C, S. WP for all in. Sure. And immediately jumped over to UK. So, Timo Toys, highly educational Montessori busy board. Okay. This is... This is cool. Uh, I, I just... this It caught me off guard for a second. I, I Just seeing everything together here. So, uh, first thing is... You have a really clean first image here, but... What I, you know, we're already missing like the main image hack, right? We talk about this every Wednesday. So, um, keywords, packaging. I mean, we could, you have plenty of space. Whoops. All right. Follow my own rule. Click on the image so that way I'm not actually flinging everything around here. Um, yeah, we have, I mean, this is great. Um, I'm, I'm actually very curious now. So, Busy board for toddlers. Just on busy board for toddlers. Just like what what competition looks like here. This is okay. Okay. Hey, you're showing up. You're sponsored. Quick tip, increase your bids to show up a little higher. Um, but okay, so kind of on par with similar products here, right, for, for main image. I was just curious on kind of what a lot of people are doing here. Um, we definitely want to do the main image hack, right? And we talk about this. I'm going to pull this up here. Um, it's already memorized. That's a point. I type it in so much. Um, packaging, right? Packaging. We want to use some of these keywords. We want to... We want to make sure that we're pulling in the audience. And not only that, stand apart, right? Everyone here that with similar product is showing kind of like this one's got some, you know, little gear design here. I would almost bet that's not part of the board. It's just kind of like a artistic spin on it. But right here, see how we've got busy board. Um, is this yours? I don't think this is yours. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on your competitor and cost some, some money here. So, um, but do you see what I'm saying? Uh, we can use some keywords in here, right? So switches, LED lights. Um, I, you know, wooden toy. Uh, I know wooden toys are a lot more, what's the word, uh, preferable over plastic at this point. So um, just something just something to keep in mind here, right? We need we need to add something there, give some oomph, give some, give some, uh, some keywords at the front. Um, all right, let's, let's look into your other images though. Uh, I like this image. Highly educational, entertaining, hand-eye coordination, sensory development, agility, fine motor skills, logical thinking. All great. CPC certified. Okay. Um, you don't need that. The children product certificate, the CPC. I mean, uh, here's the thing. Um, the people who care about it are going to know what it means. So you don't really have to have that little text in there. Uh, learn real life skills. Buttons fastening, um, shoelaces, lock and house. I th we need to QA this a little bit. Light switch fastener. Um, Velcro, be careful. Velcro is a branded term. I've seen it get stuff pulled out, so be careful where you put this. Kaleidoscope, zipper, numbers. Okay, great. So, um, a couple things here. Uh, QA this. Buttons fastening. Sh uh, shoelaces is fine. Lock in house. That one doesn't read too well. Buttons fastening doesn't read too well. Fastener, I would just call this maybe buckle or something. Um, Velcro, branded, branded keyword. So if you do have this in SEO or somewhere else, we'll look on the listing here in a minute, but can actually get your product yanked. Um, I, and I speak from experience, like I've had it happen. Uh, kaleidoscope, okay. Um, zipper numbers okay those are fine another thing is like 14 by 10 inch um 
not necessary because, um, I mean, banana for scale, right? So we've got that going on here. The and here, it's okay. It's okay here. Like I get it, but we talk about this kind of quite frequently as well as the the more measurements you include, the more it looks like you're coming off of Alibaba or something like that, right? So, um, I do a gift for curious minds. Great keywords. Great image for the holiday season coming up. So, uh, great for car trips or flights. Also great keywords. Also great. Um, great image. Keeps them away from the screen. Awesome. I also love that you show adults in the background playing on the screens. So honestly, you know, the image tag is great, right? It's, you know, the more nitpicky we get, right, is because I'm looking for something to help you improve on. But like, you know, main image I would add to, but um, the rest of your image tag is pretty good. Uh, if you have any videos, make sure you include one here. You know, no videos, but all right. Okay. First thing, we I, mean, I say this every week. Please get rid of these. <laughs> it's kind of tacky, but at the same time, like these, I promise you, they might look great to you and they might look okay to me here on the screen, but somewhere someone's looking at your product right now. And it's a, it's a, it's just a big X and it's throwing off the formatting of your, your bullets. So get rid of, get rid of those. Um, great job. Hi, uh, all caps on these though. Make your car rides and flights easier. Keep child distracted and keep your, the help of wooden busy. help of uh qa a little bit with the help of wooden busy board it'd be help of this wooden busy board or something like that we just want to make it readable for the people that do read it again i'm being nitpicky um it's just how i am but definitely keep that in mind uh no i'll just keep your child away from the screen our fidget board will certainly help parents with that great fidget great keyword educational so i don't see I don't see Velcro in your bullets. That's good. From the brand. Great brand story. All text. You could add more tiles here. Um, if Especially if you have more products. Oh, all text. We need all text. Right. Monster toys for one, two, three years old. And then over here, we've got boy plays. With so this is just like a image description, right? And then same thing. Same thing here. Um, Alt text, increase your alt text, increase your visibility, increase your um, organic ranking. I mean, it, you plug in keywords you would normally. Uh, don't plug in Velcro. Target long tail keywords and target keywords that you wouldn't put in your SEO. Uh, same thing, same thing here, right? On your product description, alt text is lacking. Also, crawlable text is lack. We have no crawlable text. So, um, I'm going to assume you have a product description on the back end still, and you uploaded A+, which obviously hides the product description. On the bright side, that still indexes, but you should also add crawlable text to your A+, to continue indexing. And, and, and the whole point of indexing is you're trying to teach Amazon's algorithm where they need to place you and who they need to show you to. And if you have a keyword that you're indexing for and Amazon and somebody buys it, right buys your product after searching that keyword and it's in your indexing then you're you're it's reinforcing that to the algorithm so uh logos at the top that's great um you know normally i would recommend a logo um panel here but this is a great image for lifestyle and also um what's the word like banana for scale almost uh extremely educational entertaining okay great um you can turn this into crawlable text with that little that there's the module with like the three images and then the uh, text under it. Um, it's going to give you more alt text because it gives you three options for alt text. And then that crawlable text is going to be there too. So turn these into images, each with a hundred alt text, and then you'll, this can be crawlable. Since, I mean, sensory stimulus, all of that great keywords, uh, actually stimulus, I'd be, I, I don't know if it would be much, but. Made from natural wood, great, 100% baby safe, okay. Um, reliable and secure, okay. Yeah, with crawlable text. I mean, you know, all in all, not bad A+, plus, but you need crawlable text, you don't have any. And like I said, you can turn this into three panels with crawlable text already, um, and then add like a paragraph or two somewhere in here, right? Uh, gonna go look at your store. 
and somehow open it twice. Follow us for updates, products, and more. It's not really pointing to anything there. So we have one product right now. Okay. Um, if you work on different versions of your busy board, uh, just what I would say is put in variation, create a product grid on your A+. This is what I was looking at. I wanted to see kind of what options we had here. Um, add an about me or about us to your store. So that, that way it just create that personable connection here. Curious, is it? Is it me? Did I just somehow? I'm just curious on why it opened too, so I'm going to do it again. Okay, I guess I double clicked it. Okay. I want the shirt too. <laughs> They're showing a plain cardboard on the main image held. Um, I'm afraid that competition might have better packaging, Photoshop packaging, even if it's not. Listen, it's you could create like you could Photoshop and create an image here. I think um, that would be that would be good uh, if you're really worried about packaging. Uh, here, let me. You can look at something like so. Like this right here doesn't show packaging, right? It shows. Um, something very important here. So age it was meant for. Um, and then it kind of shows some of the stuff inside. Obviously, you're not a book, so you wouldn't do this, but you can look at like creating like a badge, right? Um, but, you know, let's take this for an example, right? Even if this is plain cardboard, right? Or maybe this is a box that came in, they created like this badge that goes over it. Um, and, and let's say this is a sticker is actually on it, but it just judging just off looking at the picture it looks like plain cardboard with a icon kind of over it but again um you don't necessarily have to show the box but if your box does look good or does have space for it then it's a good thing otherwise i mean like look at these other options here right like you can create like a little card or um icon something the what's important to note here um is you don't want it to look like a watermark so um have to watch out for that you want you don't want it to um you don't want it like kind of floating off so for example uh let me show this again see how this is kind of overlapping with the white space of the product um good example if this had been, if this goes like all the way out to the right amazon most likely flag it as a logo or icon or um what's what's the word i used earlier um watermark right which they don't allow however um kind of overlapping it with some white space or like some space here. Um, where's that? Okay. You could like overlap it here. You're right. This little, you got some like overlap space here that you could probably use. Um, that's probably the best place. If you didn't want to show a packaging, this would be the best place to kind of show an overlapping thing. Uh, especially what's very important um, for I see made by parents, uh, made for parents by parents. I'd be curious if made in the USA, very important um, for um, product listings in the US marketplace. I, just people love that, right? So, so I'm trying to think. Because uh, I, so I, I, I guess this is probably your packaging, right? So I see. But I'm going to zoom in. You, you have some icons and stuff on your packaging. Uh, I'm just I'm just curious on kind of what these icons are. And I see this is showing like parts of the, like this is showing the zipper there. And I don't know what this says, but I'm just curious if there's keywords on your box that you could use. Um, like box open product coming out of it. But I don't, you know, um, play with a brainstorm a little bit. But I do think that there's a, uh, oops, zooming the wrong way. Um, an opportunity there but if you again worried about packaging do something like a you know a, a bubble a pop out uh you just have to be careful again on placement but see how they use their package here and it shows like microwave heating pad and uh i mean these people you know it just shows like a a mirror right it shows the product in use uh right here another thing a card with um important information so there are a few options here. Um, 
you know, pull from Helium 10, pull from like Cerebro or pull from your SQP. Um, very important keywords that you see um, either conversions or, or, you know, well, I mean, you, you want conversions, but um, a good successful keyword, whether, you know, conversions, a lot of clicks, a lot of visibility, a lot of search volume, but maybe your product isn't getting in. It, it should. Um, first of all, add it to your ads, but also add it to your add it to that little hack, right? You don't want it to read something crazy, right? You don't want it to just say like, here, I'm going to pull up all text. And, um, you don't want it to say like quiet book or, or, you know, obviously don't use award winning. Uh, buckle dino. Like if this was a word that someone, not that it is, but if this was a keyword that people were searching, like all one word buckle dino, you know, obviously don't want just a bubble that says buckle down. Right. But, um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that there's some opportunity there. If you're worried about package to kind of put like a little pop out here or like a bubble, I said, you just got to be careful on it looking like an icon or looking like a, um, um, watermark or something like that. Or logo, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna butcher your name. Uh, Muzamil, Muzamil. Uh, so B O B R N V F M F. The only number in that is zero, and that's so wild to me. Just all letters. Sorry, it's just that just threw me off. R N V F M F K. Okay, yeah, double checking it. So can you please review the station? Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this back up. Twin Sycamore's dog towel for trying to... Okay, first of all, I love the Santa hat in the main image. Just be like, look, listen. Seasonality, like, seasonality imagery, if you have the capability to do that, definitely, like, I mean, it's good. It helps people. It, it relates them to the season, right? So um, I, I just love it. I just love seeing the little Santa hat there. Um, Twin Sycamore's dog towel for drying dogs with super absorbent microfiber small dog towel. Ideally, so first of all, uh, size before breaking the images here, uh, size to the end. Um, put 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 the size if you have like a color, size, something else that like describes a variation or, or uh, describes a product like that, like um, specifically size and color, move those to the end of your title. Um, Twin Sycamores is brand okay, dog towel for drying dogs. Uh, with super absorbent microfiber small dog towel. So you want your title and then the dash and then your descriptive terms. And then at the end, you want your size. So we need to reformat your title a bit here. Um, you know, even this right here is probably a better title. I mean, I don't, Again, whatever you call it, your product is definitely what you want right after your brand name. Um, so Twin Sycamores, you know, whatever. But just just by my glance, Twin Sycamores uh, pet grooming bath towel with comfortable hand pockets, it reads much better than than this. And this is what you got to keep in mind with your title, right? At the start of your title, like the first line, maybe two, uh, depending on the customer. Uh, is going to be what the customer reads. And the rest is for um, indexing with the algorithm and, and training Amazon's algorithm and, and getting your um, SEO, right? So this is hard to read. And while this may help with indexing, what it doesn't help with is um, click through and, and stuff like that, right? Because if I'm scrolling and I just see dog towel for drying dogs uh with see i mean it's probably gonna cut off right um i'm gonna stop reading by like this point but just the 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 fact that the beginning of your title is hard to read is gonna just it's gonna hurt it a bit um all right let's click and go into this so um again my thoughts here um 
you know, ribbon or or pop out or something here for the um, microfiber call out, I think might help. We can see the hand pockets like this is great. Um, I do like this, but maybe like a tag that hangs down. This is microfiber or something. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, pull, pull attention to the important parts here, Ooh, please. Okay. Pet paw design. Okay. Um, now I am going to pull out here just to see what. So a uh, couple things to note. Um, while not an incorrect spelling, it is like the um, um, UK English spelling. A brain broke. Um, but essentially, it looks like a misspelling to American eyes, I guess. That's the way they kind of say that. So uh, they're going to, you know, this, it, just be careful. Know your audience. Um, if you're selling in the U.S. marketplace, use um, uh, U.S. spelling on words just so that that way people don't. It, someone's going to look at this and think it's misspelled, even though it isn't, right? Um, text is also kind of hard to read without zooming in. So, again... Keep that in mind. Uh, hanging loop, coral fleece and fabric. Like, like, it's not that this isn't good information, but it's just hard to read. And most people are just gonna like go like this um, and uh, maybe try to read it. But if they see the text is kind of blending in with the background, hard to read, tiny stuff like that, they're not gonna take the time. Most people aren't gonna take the time to do what we do here and like zoom in and read it. Um, Twin sycamore dog towels, tree you can't companion with luxury to luxury with their store is dog drying towel. Okay. Pamper your pup with our paw printed drying towel. Okay. Um good icons, good info here. So I like this. Good blending on the shadows. This might be a real image. I thought it was photoshopped at first. No, it is. Good blending on the shadows. Uh dimensions of drying towel. Great. Again, um, for a towel, I can kind of see it. I'm not going to give you too much crap here because it's a towel, but you have the size here. So again, showing it in an image, just kind of, not only people not usually care enough to look in images for sizing. Um, some people do, don't get me wrong, but that whole like showing a bunch of dimensions idea. Um, it's just, it's, it's just a visual turnoff for people. Um, you know, we have like for size, I mean, small dog, right? Puppy. No, they're like, you know, smaller breed. So, um, and right here, right. So good, good banana for scale image, right? You're showing an actual image of someone using the product on like an actual dog which shows us like the kind of size right you don't necessarily need to again no one's going to measure their dog it's a towel I, I don't have a towel that's the same height as me or the same you know width right so no one's going to measure their their dog for that so you could probably just make a better use of this fourth image you could find something better to put here super absorbent towel great to luxury little bot pat towel. Okay, we have the dimensions there. Okay, sure. Uh, offering unparalleled absorption while providing warmth and comfort. Okay, efficient and quick drying. Okay, perfect for puppy care routine. Effortless to maintain. Thoughtful gift. Great, great keywords to focus on for the holidays coming up. Okay, you can add more tiles to your brand story. I'll say that every time just because you can have like up to 20. 20 something 20 i know for sure um so let's look at your alt text there's a lot of alt text but it's just sentences and and like reiterations of your title so definitely plug some keywords into your alt text long tail keywords and such saying right here we kind of have the same thing over and over again right um something important to keep out SEO is the same thing for alt text, right? You don't necessarily want to repeat anything in your alt text. Again, if you're focusing on long tail keywords, so for example, um, let's see if I can find one that would be. Skinny paw print pattern, right? So skinny paw print 
pattern would be a long tail keyword. Probably not, maybe paw print pattern. Um, just in general, just an example. I'm not saying this is a good long tail keyword, but this would be a long tail keyword that I can say, okay, if you have paw somewhere else, maybe paw print or pattern somewhere else in your alt text, then it's okay to still have paw print pattern, but in general, avoid like, I mean, there's just so much space here. You don't need to repeat keywords unless you're again, focusing on long tail keywords. Uh, looking here, we do, you know, dog tail, dog tail, dog tail. So you need more alt text in your A plus and probable text and logo. Do we have your logo? And I mean, maybe if you don't have a logo, make a logo and front and center. Looks like this might be your logo. Yeah, looks like this might be your logo. So, okay. So if this is your logo, make a box up here with your logo on it. Brand recognition. We want people to recognize your brand name and um, what's the word? Uh, like we want people to search for your products, right? So as you get more products, um, you want people to know what your brand name is. So you want you want your brand name front and center so that people say, okay, Twin Sycamores. Yeah, they're going to scroll over it most of the time. Um, but it's a good start to the to the A plus. And again, hey, I bought this Twin Sycamores um, dog tail. You should look it up. They start telling their friends about Twin si right? If they say, <clears throat> hey, I bought this, you know, dog tail with little hand pockets. You should you should go get one on Amazon. Uh, then we're they're going to see you know, competition. But if you get it. It's like subliminal messaging kind of few people to remember your brand name then they say hey go look up twin sycamores right that's what you want um comfort after bathing great a gift for pet lovers great um great great keywords i hope you have these elsewhere um so yeah crawlable text see dimensions we're focusing really hard on dimensions and like i get it um Obviously, we don't want a tiny towel, but you have this like in so many places now. Uh, so take it out of your image stack. If you want to leave it here, I won't stop you. Um, and if you want to leave it like in here, I won't stop you and definitely move this to the end. But take it out of your image stack. And then because um, here's the thing. Not everyone's going to look through all these images before they scroll down. I Some people will. Most people will probably look through a few. But once they start scrolling through the page, if they're really thinking about it and they're really looking at it, I mean, you've got the information here. So don't don't put too much on it. Also, this image is kind of low res. Would maybe suggest something else here. Yeah, I would suggest something else here. And then also, again, crawlable text. Um, I'm going to guess you have a product description on the back end that was like your original description of the product before the A+. If you do, that's great because it's still going to index. Leave it there. If you don't, make one. It's still going to index. And then also, if your A plus ever gets taken down, um, this won't be a big empty box or something like that, right? Uh, it shouldn't be an empty box. I don't think Amazon will even let you. They'll say, hey, there's like a, they'll let you know it's like a missing value. So it shouldn't be, but we make it. You still want it to be readable. You don't want to just start plugging in keywords and using it as SEO space. But, um, so it can still indexes, but you want it there for backup if A plus ever comes down. And again, train the algorithm. Uh, so crawlable text. And then a year bullets look great. I, I didn't have anything say out to me too much. Maybe some readability. If you want a distinctive gift for your pet lover fellow, it would be fellow pet lover. Um, and then... For a U.S. marketplace, you want to change the spelling here. Probably want to change a bit about this image because, like I said, text is hard to read, and you want to you want to make sure that we're we're using the spelling that's relevant to like the the demographic, right? How far in advance of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, should we start working on listing improvements to maximize results like today? Uh, like when is the prime window to make changes? To make changes to your listing? Um, I mean, Amazon's not really going to cut you off. Um, 
yeah, the cutoff window that I'd only be worried about at this time period would be inventory, which you should have sent, like, to, I think, what, two weeks ago. So, uh, for, yeah, I mean, just, just work, like, get it done. You want it before Prime, because, right, it's, theoretically, if you want to make sure that you have it done so there aren't any issues, I mean, starting on the 20th, I mean, get it done like today, right? Get it done soon because you know how Amazon is. If, if something doesn't upload correctly, you'll need to do like, um, uh, you don't want to wait till last minute. Don't, here's what I would recommend. Don't do major updates on Fridays because I mean, if you're doing it yourself, sure. Uh, but if you're working with like a team or like a friend or colleague or whoever, or you know, you have other stuff you need to do on the weekend or something. Don't don't do it on a Friday because I would I would hate for you to like take the weekend off and then come back on Monday to realize your listing's been down or just you know there's an error with it. So um, I mean, just get it done today, right? That's I mean, you're gonna ask me how it's the same thing as like when should you release a product yesterday? When should you optimize your listing today, right? So um, yeah, great tips. Thank you. Diving into this straight away. Great. Hey, you're welcome. I'm I'm glad that you like them. Hamza says B zero C F. Okay. B zero C. V Y M Y sixty. This is. I'll wait for the image load, but this feels like a lot. Okay. So sparkle sun catchers. See, okay, so thank you. Uh, this is a good example, right? Color at the end of the title. Same thing that you should do for sizing. Um, so sparkle sun catchers hanging crystals, 10 pieces, sun catcher with chain pendant. Um, brand registered, no, no store. A store would be good. Okay, let's dive into our products here. Here's what I'm, so sun catcher hanging crystal 10 pieces i'm just curious on like it's another one of those i'm curious on kind of what competition would look like very similar okay very very similar look at you showing up number one organically maybe it's because i use this but that's still good. So, okay. I'm seeing a lot of similarities here between um, main images. So at least at least you're doing what's working for the category. I would be curious, again, because we talk about all the time, like main image hack. In this case, this would be a tough one for me. I say that because I know kind of how picky Amazon is with like the jewelry category and or jewelry categories. Uh, and not that this is right. Cause it's like out outdoor decor, but like kind of the style, right. The like hanging ornaments, hanging chains, um, jewelry. Um, well, I guess ornaments is another one. Um, it's a little difficult here, but this is not like, Tags, packages, I'm trying to think of what would be a good one. Like a good, a good, like, hmm. Because the image is pretty clean. Like, it's a good image. I'm just, I would like to see something here. Like, this is a good idea, I guess, here, right? Um, show them hanging from something or show one of them hanging from something. That would be a good, possibly a good one. But I mean, you know, overall for the category, um, you have a good main image. Adding some texture, maybe. Like sunlight or something. I don't know. Something something that makes your image pop. A, B, test it. A, B, test it. Make something, create something, make your image pop. This is, this is loud. This is awful. The shadows, hmm, don't do anything like that. This is also loud and awful. Don't do anything like this, right? But this 
this is a good example, even though they only have a one. I know it's harder with a 10 piece, right? You want to show all 10 pieces. So, yeah. I would try and A-B test something. Um, they tried here. They did try. I wouldn't do this. This is not, not really, it's not really, I mean, this isn't going to change anything. But yeah, I'd be curious if you could like put a package or like a, um, like a tag, like a tag on one of these with like a certain keyword, like, um, you know, like some little plastic tags you see on, um, wrapped around like an, like a chain for like a necklace or something. Uh, the ones that people just like rip off, uh, make like a fake one that shows like a important keyword here. But I mean, the image is pretty clean for the category. Um, I would like to see the main image act, but I would say be tested because this may be one of those categories that's tough. We'll, the main goal here is we want you to grab some, uh, you grab customer's attention. It looks a little like pixelated. Sorry, I'm just being nitpicky now, but, but, but for the category, right? Like we're still looking at like a similar concept. And here you are sponsored, so I wonder which keyword that was. Bring it back in. Take me back in, coach. Let's go look at these. So, okay. This is great. Like, this... This is great as a great second image. This is what I would want. To, like, this is good. Like, your box looks good. It shows... Like, this is what I would like to see as a main image. I just don't think you're going to get away with it. Maybe A-B test that. But this is like a good image, right? This is what I'm, I'm thinking of when I'm thinking of like trying to figure out how to make our, our the, like the main Im image hack work, right? See, I mean, it's really not that loud of an image compared to your competitors. So like this could be good. This could be you know what? I would A-B test this as a main image, maybe. Honestly. This looks good. Um, great lifestyle image. Uh, diffuses light by absorbing sun's positive energy and producing rainbow effect. Okay. Crystals sun catcher. Would it read better as crystal sun catchers rather than crystals sun catcher? See what I'm saying? Um, we try that. Okay. Lifestyle image. Great. Your kids love it. Original. Okay. You know, all in all. Living room, garden, decorate, window. Okay. You know, uh, all in all, I don't have like too many complaints here about image tag. Not a lot of infographics, but not really much to add, I guess. Um, size looks pretty consistent here amongst images. So I, uh, you know, so I do think that we've got that conveyed. I don't know. The 10 pieces is great, but you can, and this is just from a design perspective. I don't think that um, outside of that, I would argue too much here, but showing all of them in every image feels kind of like, especially with it, I know it's 10 pieces, but do you see how it makes people feel like, oh, do I have to hang all 10? Like, do I have room for all 10 of them in one space? What if I have a small window? What if I want to hang up on a mirror or something like that? You get what I'm saying? Like a... a so maybe, you know, isolate a few. I This one, you, right, you only show five. So I kind of like that, right? But in so many of these, you're showing like all of them all together all the time. Um, and it, it could feel overwhelming. And this one cuts off right here. It's not even hanging on anything. Oh, we have gold and silver. Okay. Um, captivating sunlight. So first things first, capitalize the headliners of your bullets. Captivating sunlight, capitalize. Premium craftsmanship, capitalize. Versatile decoration, capitalize. Easy installation, capitalize. Capitalize all these. Feng shui, capitalize. Harmony, like all the way up. Everything before your colons, capitalize it all. Elevate your inner space, but it's had 10 exquisite sun catches. So enchantingly capture... Okay. Re refract sunlight. This feels like when you're when you plug in a lot of adjectives and adverbs, um, 
just be mindful of it, right? It starts to read like chat GPT, um, whether this was made in chat GPT or not. And it's not necessarily a bad thing if you use like, if you're using, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to use chat GPT to help build this out. But at the same time, um, it just starts to read, I guess, robotically, right? Like, so as a, as a human reading this, I'm like, uh, they're plugging a lot of, like it gets, it, it's hard to read because it's, it's taking away from the overall like message. So enchantingly, um, you know, exquisite is fine. I think they're, uh, with a mesmerizing play of colors, that's also good, but the design to enchantingly capture, um, if this isn't, I mean, maybe enchanting, I could see that being a keyword maybe that plays well into the category, but enchantingly wouldn't. And Amazon's not going to treat those two the same. Um, and I could be wrong. Maybe you did your research and enchantingly is a really strong word, but don't overstuff with adjectives or adverbs. Um, I would focus on if you're going to use like descriptive terms like that, make sure they're ones that are playing well into the category, um, be it search volume or just like the demographic, right? I said enchanting would be good um, for the demographic in the category, but I don't know about enchantingly. Uh, each hanging, but like it just like if you really wanted enchanting in there, the way that I would write this is. It, Elevate your indoor spaces with our set of 10 ex, uh, exquisite sun catchers with crystals designed to capture and refract enchanting sunlight, or something like that. Yeah. This is also a very long run on sentence, but that's beside the point. Each hang, each, see, each hanging crystals for windows. Uh, see how hard this doesn't really roll off the tongue, right? It's not. Um, yeah. Each hanging crystal for, even for when, like, this is hard, right? Um, Again, I know where sun catchers hanging crystals. So like this. So I'm trying to think. It, it just needs some QA, some grammar QA, readability. And see how we do crystal sun catchers for windows. We know it works for windows, only say it once. Sorry, I started reading really hard there. I know it, it got real quiet, but 10 window crystals. So again, window, 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 window. Don't we don't need to be repetitive of keywords, not only on the back end, but on the front end. I'd like I get it uh, if you really want to push window, but like set of 10 window crystals, great. Um each hanging crystal, cut out four windows. Uh our windows because here's the thing, right? Window, windows, window and windows, no matter like how, right? Plural and singular. Um, Amazon indexes them the same, treats them as the same. So, I could probably leave it here. If you really want the four windows, like the four, you could probably leave it there. Right? We want, we want readability too. You have no A plus, you need A plus. Um, having this description now, great. Uh, you're gonna index here, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read through all of this, but this is great and it, it looks readable just from as I'm s skimming through it. Um, not a lot of people are gonna actually probably. I mean, they will take the time to read a description if they really care, but got to know your audience. Um, younger generations are pretty quick and they're visual, which is why you need that A plus. And then for it, it generally like my age and older. Um, is when like people like read. And so that's what the crawl of text is for on top of it also indexing for Amazon. So just, uh, definitely, you know, most customers are visual. So you need, um, especially like we live in a society that's like TikTok. let's, let's be quick. Let's get things done. I'm busy. I need to go do this. So I'm going to scroll through Oh, this product looks great. I'm going to buy it. Right. So that's what the imagery is for. And that's why we use images to like, Catch your attention, pull them in, right? A good main image, click through rate, good A plus, keeps them engaged with the product, engage with the brand. Um, yeah, you need A plus. So I hope that helps. Okay. Uh, new gen reality says B086XH. Okay. 
Let's see. I already forgot it. Eight six. Excuse. G R J R. So you have your package in your main image. That's great. It's over. Okay. So this looks great. Main image looks great. Um, you've got, get out of here. You've got, I don't know if this is actually on the box, but this is a good place for that. If it's not, so I like that as seen on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. Great. Um, no, this is a good main image. Ultimate pool ball. I don't, I don't know that you need that. Yeah. I don't know that you need this. Just because you have, I mean, right, it's right here, right? So no one's going to, like, really squint their eyes to read that. Uh, if Amazon's going to let you have this here, I'd be curious if you can use this for, um, unless this is part of the product. I don't think so, right? This is just, like, your logo. I don't know how you got away with it, but if you're you have that there, use it as, like, a way to express some keywords. So great to have here. Ultimate Summertime Toy. Dribble off the pool for pass up Dave. This why does this look familiar to me? Perfect for kids. I mean, I guess maybe I know why it looks familiar to me, but create priceless memories. This is great. This is I mean your images are good. Um your images are good. There's some lifestyle. There's some some info in there. So, one, two, three, four, five. You are missing at least one image. You can have at least one more in your image stack. Yeah, you can have at least one more in your image stack, right? So if you're gonna have a video, six images in a video. Um, so you need at least one more. Maybe just a lifestyle photo of somebody playing with it. Like you don't need text on it, right? Just show just show somebody playing with the the product or using the product. These are great thumbnail images, actually. I like this a lot. This is a very good. This is a very good way of doing your thumbnail images. So, um, for people who don't know, you can actually alter your thumbnail images on the back end of Amazon. Um, there's like a thumbnail space, right? It's usually, I think, the very last of the the image stack. Um, and you, what's the word? A uh, category label. It label is like a thumbnail, um, and it allows you to change this. This is good. These are like really good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the ultimate pool ball. He filled this ball of water to play Wonder Woman games. So, active life store, the ultimate pool ball. You want your, you want your, um, or sorry, active life. Active life, ultimate, the ultimate pool ball. Um, you want, you want your brand name at the front. Again, brand recognition. You want people to, hey, I, I bought this really cool, you know, a ball to play with in, uh, in the pool with my kids. You should totally go on Amazon and get you one. Um, it costs me about 20 bucks. Great. Then they just go search for pool ball. And, you know, I would, if this doesn't, I'm, there's some of this is probably going to be billiards related, but we'll see. So great, you're here, but oh, look, here's something that's cheaper. Oh, hey, here's another. Uh, well, here's your brand, right? You've got your brand name here. So. Uh, do it, do it here because people are going to look and they say, Oh, I could, you know, could probably buy this one. This one's just one's cheaper. Right. But just because they're going off of the recommendation of, Hey, I bought a pool ball. Now, if your brand name is obviously here and people are thinking about it a lot, again, give people subliminal messaging, right? You want people to try to remember your brand names. That's why we put it here. We put it at the top of the A plus we put it kind of like, you know, you sneak it in there, I guess. Um, if I type in active life, am I, what I'm curious now is, am I going to see this product, right? That's another thing, right? Um, if, so you have other products. Great. See, I don't see a pool ball. I see, well, now I do organically. But I don't see the, I, you know, there's like skip ball, skip disc, right? So you see why you kind of want that at the front? Um, I know this is your product because I'm looking at it now, right? But 
if I'm if I like the brand and I'm scrolling through here and see, okay, great, they have skip ball, cool, cool, cool. Um, and then look at this, be like, oh, it must not be their brand, right? You see what I'm saying? Brand recognition. You want people to remember your brand name. So put it put it in there. Hot's new holiday toy of 2023. Great. Uh, be cool in the pool, bright and durable. So I, all caps, love it. Any neat gift. Uh, that's for boys and girls age six and above, as well as teens. These toys are perfect for birthday gifts, swimming pool parties, Fourth of July barbecues, even Christmas presents. Access to an indoor pool. Um, all good keywords. All pretty well constructed here. I don't have a lot of complaints. I think this is. Like, curious about triple tech PVC. I don't know if it matters, but if this is a brand, just be careful, right? The idea is like Velcro. Um, Velcro is a brand name. Everybody knows it. Everybody thinks of that. Even if it's not Velcro brand, they think of hook, hook and loop as Velcro. Amazon will still pull it. So I'm just saying, be careful here. Uh, if you haven't gotten any issues, you probably won't, but just in case if, if this is a different brand that you don't own, uh, and they decide that they're going to go crazy one day and get all of that pulled down, then But this is, I mean, this is all good. Bullets are great, all right? Brain store looks great already. I lied. You don't have enough images or enough enough tiles. You need more tiles. What are you doing? We need more tiles here. So, um, lifestyle images. You could throw that into your brain story. Um, little text boxes. Why are we, you know, um, this is who we are. This is what we love. This is why we do what we do. That kind of stuff. Put that in there because two things. One, you're creating that connection from, again, brand recognition. You're creating that connection to your customer for your brand, but you're also going to have a lot more space for alt text. Right here, these are great. And these tiles are great because, well, let me line it back up here. These tiles are great because you do get 400 characters of alt text here, right? Um, so fill them in and add more tiles so you can fill even more in and create that connection, right? Plug some, plug some lifestyle in there. Plug some other stuff in there. So, this is clever. I wonder how well this works for you. But this is kind of clever. We've got premium A plus. Okay. Neutrally buoyant. Made in the USA. Pop that sucker on this. Let let your customers know. I, I'm curious. What I'm curious about is, does anybody care that's neutrally buoyant? Because I don't know if anybody really knows what that means. So if they're just looking for a pool toy. Maybe they do. I'm just curious. Full color gift box. The benefits. So I get it. Some awesome features these and then other benefits is this. Fills with water. Okay, it comes with a hose adapter. Um, probably important. Important. I don't think this is important. So important. You need to put this on your main image. Three times stronger with triple tech. Again, there's that name. I'm just curious. Over a thousand satisfied customers. Cool. And you have a product grid. Great. So I love this. Hours of family fun. Yes on all. Easy to use. Yes on all. So great. Um, Yeah, all in all, um, good premium A plus would really, really recommend putting some more emphasis on, well, designed in America. So not made in America. I get it. Still good, though. I feel like it needs more emphasis, but right. But uh, anyway. Even if you don't want to pull like designed in the USA um, up here, um, I get it. What I would focus on then is still putting some good keywords here. Um, but main image is pretty good. And I, I really do love these thumbnail pictures. I think these are great. Awesome. We're going to wrap up here. Um, Currently I'm facing issues, I will answer this. Currently I'm facing issues with my PVC campaigns. Could you please just prove it to me? Control my A costs. Cut bleeding targets. Are you, look at your, are they relevant? If they're not relevant, cut them out. Um, are they, um, 
are they bleeding? Are you getting a lot of clicks, but nobody's actually paying for the product? Um, pull back, look at your product, uh, pricing, your page, the layout, everything that we cover on Wednesday can help with conversion. Um, everything that Marissa covers on Tuesday can help you with controlling your ACOS. So you should ask her this question next Tuesday. But um, all right, we're going to wrap up here. Again, my name is Joseph. I'm a brand director here at My Amazon Guy. If you want to kind of learn more about us, uh, go. you can go to myamazonguy.com. Um, I'm going to, I've been there all day with the hack. Let me pull up. Can't take here. Comment off. Okay. Come see what services offer. Come see, um, you know, if you want to purchase our SOPs, great. If you want to work for us. Come see what kind of careers we offer. And if you're, if you want to learn, if you want to train with me and learn how to be a brand manager, you can do that. Um, if you want to have me go over a product with you in a 30 minute call, or, you know, talk about anything else that you're having issues with, uh, you can book a call with me here on our coaching page, or you can book a call with any of our other great um, directors and, and team leaders here. Um, you know, John's on here, Steven's on here with his email, uh, Jason's on here. And then again, directors, right? Tom, Faith, Kristen, you know, if you, uh, Marissa, like I just mentioned, if you want to talk to her about PPC, um, yeah, come book a call with us. I uh, look forward to hearing from you if you do, but until next Wednesday, thank you all. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.